Okay, we're at uh, gotomath.com looking at uh, calculus. And we're actually in limits, infinite limits, and in this section right here. So this is going to be what we're going to be looking at. Find all vertical asymptotes of the function of g of t here. So let's move over to the whiteboard and write that down. So we have g of t is equal to t minus 4 over t squared minus 16. So to find the vertical asymptotes, we take the denominator and we set it equal to 0. Take the denominator, set it equal to 0, and solve for t in this particular case. Now we can factor, or we can factor this. This is the difference of two squares here. Or we could just simply take the 16 over to the right-hand side however you want to do it. Take the square root of both sides. All right, we got the plus or minus of 16 and so we end up with t equals plus or minus 4. So these are our possible uh, solutions here but uh, so one of them is t is 4 and the other is possibly negative 4 and here's the reason why I say possible because if we took one of these let's say 4 and plugged it into the numerator up here and we get 0 out we can clearly see then uh, well maybe this is not clearly but if we get 0 on the numerator and get plug 4 in down here and get 0 alright that's not a vertical asymptote if we took negative 4 and plugged it into the top we get negative 8 over plug negative 4 in here we get 0 Right, so we get negative 8 over 0, so that would be a vertical asymptote. You can only get 0 in the denominator. All right, so we're going to cancel this guy out. It doesn't work. So our vertical asymptote is t is equal to negative 4. Now, <clears throat> another way of looking at this would be you could take, uh, just factor the bottom. Okay, and you get uh, plus 4. So as you can see, we have a term in the top and one of the bottom that are the same, and therefore we need to just cancel those guys completely out. And we're left with g of t is equal to t plus 4. However, g of t has changed, and if in that case, you must always state that uh, you must state the domain of the original function. Okay. All right, so we gotta we gotta kind of say that, but anyway, we can cancel that out and then see what's one over t plus four, so negative four. All right, um, real quickly here. So we have negative four is a vertical asymptote. We've got a line does something like that. To find where it crosses the y-axis, we would plug 0 into this thing, and we end up getting 0 of 0, negative 4 over negative 16, which happens to be 1 fourth. So we know that it crosses right here. Well, I'm going to tell you that this graph is going to look something like this, and of course, something like this right here, all right? This is what the graph looks like. If you took negative 5 and you plugged it in, you get a negative up here in the top. Negative 5 here, you're going to get 25. You're going to get a positive number. So you're going to get a negative over a positive, which is negative. So that's the reason the graph is down here below this. Everything to the left, negative 4 is going to be a negative number. All right. Um, there's a lot of things can be said here. But this is what the graph looks like. And we were asked to find the vertical asymptote and here it is. Also uh, in the previous section about continuity, right, it's discontinuous at negative 4, obviously. And uh, I always run out of time on these things, but t is equal to negative 4 vertical asymptote.